No Jumper, coolest podcast in the world. And today, on this lovely Tuesday, we got the man himself, YM Bape, in the building. Yeah, you already fucking know that. Take a fuck some cream out here. Thing on my fucking chest, man. You're so good at that when you bang on your chest. Like, you really get a good thud that, like, sort of. Feel me? You can, hear the, shit, pe- you can hear the pectoral definition that you, you, you put in some work under that bar. Yeah. Yeah. I've been, I've, I've, up north on the bar for me. <laughs> I'm doing my thing on the bar. Shout out to my niggas that was up north for me, too. So you're fresh out? Not right now. I wouldn't say that. Yeah, I was January I came off. Okay. You got in January. Mm-hmm. So what'd you go in for this most recent time? Let's hear about it. All right. Um, Get a little closer to the mic. It's you, a long, you want with the it's headphones? A long, it's a long, short story. I'm going to make it brief. So <laughs> I had called two charges. One of them was a misdemeanor that I had a fight in front of Supreme with. I can hear my mother. Yeah, I don't yeah. really need this, though. You don't need it? All right. Just stick close to the mic. This shit sound fire. It sounds cool, right? Don't you like the rumbling of your own voice? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a fact. That's how we tell it, Nicky. I'm like, yo, I got bars, B. My shit sound valid on the mic. You just, you, it does. Do you have a rap career in the works? Something like that. I was, I was just putting some, some shit together. Fake, fake. A fake, fake rap career? Yeah, fake. I mean, Academics got, is putting out music videos. Yeah, that's yeah. I, I, I did watch that shit. I did. I did watch what, what that. What do you shit. think? What do you think of Lil Ack? That nigga ain't got no balls. <laughs> <laughs> I fuck with you, Ack. So we real nigga timing. Okay, throw that on Twitter. That's tomorrow's controversy. The academics. I ain't got no bars. You ain't got no bars, bro. He's gonna be pissed when he hears that. Why do I keep hearing helicopters above? It's like they fucking know that we're up to yeah, something out they here, know right? The ape is out here, man. I'm looking for Supreme Patty. You already know. Oh, for real? That's a fact. You gonna smack him around? Yeah. That's kind of fucked up, man. He's yeah. like a little guy. I don't know if he can defend he be himself. Right. You guys are in different weight classes. He be all right, man. He'll be all right. Talking hot, wearing Supreme and all that. I'm taking that fucking. Head being up that nigga head. I mean, Supreme's right around the corner. It's like a- I already been there for me. They don't want no smoke. For real? When I landed, they had some little nigga in front of the store, right? Mm-hmm. Security nigga. Then I came again the next day. It was some big nigga there. Two big black niggas. Mm-hmm. I'm like, fuck that. I ain't worried about that shit. Nah, they always got big ass motherfuckers for security there. I don't I know. I drive by that shit all the time, and there's monster dudes. I don't know. I don't know. They're ready for you. They got guys in your weight class. Maybe even a little higher. I don't know. I don't even care about that. Them niggas, <laughs> them niggas hands is noodles, man. <laughs> they don't want no smoke. Okay, but let me put you on game. It's, I don't know what it's like in New York, but when I look at the dudes who are in line outside of fucking Supreme. There's some day room niggas in front of Supreme. You think? That's a fact. Bro, let me tell you something. The Supreme line in L.A., there's a lot. I'm not going to snitch on them for it. nothing. It ain't, it ain't nothing compared to um, New York Supreme line. Okay, let me tell you something. In New York, people do not be having guns like they have in L.A. Regular ass fact. people got guns in L.A. But niggas be having guns in New York, bro. But a little niggas less. Niggas be having it on us. But you, but you got to think about it. It's police on every corner in New York. It's insane. L.A. It ain't no police. Hell so no. You carry a grip, you good. You, you low. Yeah. In New York, it's just lit. It's like it's you carry a grip, too. you, you got to be that static kid to be walking around with a grip in New York. Yeah. And so Yeah. Hell yeah. You walking around with a gun in New York, you're a fucking crazy motherfucker. Yeah. Like, you're ready for whatever. You walk past, like, 12 police as soon as you got out your cab or whatever. They probably train. got, like, a gun-sniffing dog or some shit. Yeah, but them niggas they is, got that yet? Like, they, ain't, they ain't smart. Them dumb ass dogs. The dogs? You yeah. all smart the dogs? <laughs> That's a fact. Yo, I want to know a little bit about, like, the the upbringing of YM Babe. Let's talk about, about young, young YM Babe. It's a long story, man. <laughs> what should I start? <laughs> Where should I start? Does it yeah, start in my LES? bro right here, man. Chris Dawn for me. Okay. Dawn Chris for me. I'll be back with everything. <laughs> right. Do you, all right. Yeah. Let me ask you this. Does your story start in the LAS or were you born somewhere else? I'm, I'm born and raised on Piss Street. Okay. For me, shout out to Piss Street. You already know. We out here, man. Hell yeah. So what are your parents like? My mom, she official for me. My pop's official too. They both just two official people. That's how I came out to be official. <laughs> That's a fact. I like that. My mom was a gangster. She was beating niggas up in the hood. And my pops is official, man. They call him Tony T, man, because he had mad gold chains, man. That nigga had Rottweilers and gold chains, man. For real? That's a fact. Wow, that's lit. Rottweilers and gold chains. All right, so, like, what, what was your childhood like? Like, did you have a good, solid family, or were you kind of, like, moving all over the place? Was it, what was it like? 
growing up in New York is lit. You feel me? Or, but my pops, he was static. You feel me? He got locked up and shit. My mom always did. She held it down. She the queen. You feel me? Staticky. Yeah. I like how you keep saying staticky. Yeah, I'm going to start saying that. Yeah, staticky and noodles, man. Niggas' hands is noodles out here. <laughs> Niggas don't want no smoke, man. Be talking that hot shit, man. Noodles. They hands is noodles, yeah. man. You got to have a lot of confidence to just let that bar fly. I like that. That's a fact. All right, so uh, you you went to school. What elementary school you go to? As long as we're going to keep it real regional. I got kicked out then at every <laughs> elementary school in Manhattan. Be. For real? That's a fact. What was it? Just fighting? Fighting, 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 fighting. You'd always be fighting? Fighting. Were you a big-ass kid or were you small? I was bigger than the kids. That yeah. was my age probably, yeah. Okay. So I you, was just staticky, I ain't <laughs> fucking big, little, you know what I mean? Right. You were just ready for whatever? It was, it was lit. That's fire. Okay, so when, when's the first time you got arrested? Like 14. For what? Fighting. Stealing out the Dwayne Reed? Nah, I don't know. We ain't even got that out here. They ain't gonna give a fuck you still in New York. You can get away for shoplifting out there? This Probably. is news to me. Probably, I don't know. I yeah. never did that shit. You were never a booster? Nah. I was boosting, bro. What you was boosting? Saw blades from Home Depot. Throw them on eBay. <laughs> 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 now nah, you know what well, was another good one? I'll be going in the Barnes & Noble. Bro, they got books about like computer pro- programming and shit that are like 200 bucks. You steal that shit, throw it on eBay, you get a cool like 80 bucks. Yeah, you're flipping that quick. Mm-hmm. Anyway, enough about jugging. Um, so... What, what was your, uh, what nah, was but growing up in Low East, I was lit, man, for me. Shout out to Piss Reef, man. Shout out to my niggas up the hill, down the hill, man. Whole L.E.S., man, we out here. Did you realize how crazy it was to be, like, a kid growing up in New York as, as a kid? Or you just, you were always in the middle of it, like, so you never really New realized. York is fast, so everything just lit. Like, you're not even worrying about it. You just do what you got to do. Mm-hmm. You live your day by, by the day, I guess. What, what, what was, what's your government name? My government name yeah. is Anthony Yashua Gabino Lopez. Wow, that's hard. Yeah. You got all kinds of different hard in there, too. You're like a Gambino. Yeah, Gabino, <laughs> yeah. You like might be related to George Lopez. Yeah, you know, we family. Lopez, <laughs> shit. <laughs> okay, so talk to me about, um, you know, okay, how old are you? 27. 27, okay. So you graduate high school. Yeah. Did you? Yeah. Okay, so how was <laughs> huh. How was that though? Like you, you said, you got kicked out of every school. Cause nah, what happened was like, I was supposed to graduate and then I got locked up, and I had like three credits left to graduate. So then I, I had bailed out and then just finished my shit. Mm, okay. Or, so you were kind of getting locked up a lot while you were all through high school and shit. Hell yeah. <laughs> me, and, me and Mumu was just talking about that yesterday. That's a fact. He been with you since back then. Yeah, he know me for a long time. That's a fact. Mumu will. All these niggas was here. What kind of things were you getting into in high school? Like fighting, just beefing, oh. violating. Violent. Or, were you uh, were you in a gang, quote unquote? Nah, I wasn't in a gang. It was just like my niggas and your niggas. Right. For me. I mean, New York's kind of like that. You're a young yeah. young kid in the scene. Yeah, it's more it's more it's more like like it's not like a lot of I don't know New York is it, it, it's groups. It's more groups than gangs. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. It's not as organized. Yeah. Although, like, the gang thing is kind of big now. Yeah. But, you know, when I was interviewing A Boogie, you fuck with A Boogie? Yeah. You Shout out to High Bridge, man. Shout out to my son, Money Mitch, and Don Q. Right. Yeah. When I was talking to him, I was talking about how when he jumped Lil B backstage at fucking Rolling yeah. Loud. Yeah, I was locked up for that. Oh. Uh, that that's, that's like missing Christmas. <laughs> uh, that was a crazy day on the internet, bro. I don't really know that little B nigga, but that shit is funny, though. <laughs> nah, he's a good guy. That's a misunderstanding. Yeah, but when I was talking to sure. A Boogie about it, he was like, you got to remember, like, New York's the number one place where people catch fades over stairs. Uh-huh. That's a fact. There's a lot of truth to that. Yeah, that's some old shit. That's, that's okay. So you were staring at me and, like, what you looking at, nigga? Mm. You want to get a poppy? That's like, a dumb way to go through life, yeah, but it's pretty yeah. common, right? Yeah. Yeah, I've been past that shit. Yeah. When you when you get locked up, bro, and you you looking at a nigga, you looking at a nigga for a reason. Mm. That's your op. I mean, other than that, you ain't looking at niggas. Don't look at me. You I feel like you, at you. you can tell when somebody's been to jail. No. No. I don't know. But niggas can, is weird. They <laughs> be all kind of weirdo niggas in jail. Right. But can you like can you look at somebody and like 
just basically tell if they're like with the shits do you feel like you have yeah. that instinct that you can tell if somebody's like the mm-hmm. kind of person that is mm-hmm. down for to mm-hmm. fight or like you know you just you catch yeah. that vibe all the time i remember one time i a bar with a girl and there's like only one other white dude in there and he got a bunch of face tattoos and shit and the girl's just saying like oh you guys buy that face tattoos i'm like shh you're gonna get me killed <laughs> <laughs> you know like i'm looking at him like he's the only guy in here that i don't want to fuck with he just you could you could just smell it on him he was you might smack somebody <laughs> you would have smacked him you would have been like fuck that right oh pussy uh um so you graduate high school and then like what where does your life go from there you go to community college or college nah, nah, at all nah, nah, nah. i graduated high school right uh-huh yeah but before high school i was in border school high school really i was in like two border schools you were that bad yeah okay oh yeah you were fucking up just going crazy to the point where they put you in a boarding but was that still in new york or you have to move yeah, away one of them was in pennsylvania the first one and then the second one was in new york it was like westchester county okay and so you were just sort of being like moved around and stuff was was it having any effect on your behavior or were you still getting into trouble while you were in these boarding schools and shit now after a while it was just like damn they not letting niggas go out of this shit so you got to behave so you could at least get your visits mm. you go home on a weekend visit so that's what I was doing. I was just chilling for a little while. I was going home on my weekend visit. And then, I don't know, just one day it was just lit in that bitch. <laughs> okay, so you, but you finished, and then, like, what do you decide to do with your no, life? I got after kicked high out of that shit. Oh, okay. Where? So what do, you, what do you do after you're done school? After school? When I was, what? Like, what, what do you decide to do with your life, like, once you're done oh, with like, yeah, school? When, like, when, when, I, when, I, when I had got kicked out of board school, I went to um, Manhattan High, and, uh-huh. and then... I went to jail and shit, boy. How I was making bread, I was dog walking. Dog walking? Yeah. How'd you get into that? So my pops. My pops was working in um, Tribeca in New York. Mm-hmm. And he knew some some gay nigga named Sasha. <laughs> and nigga was official, though. The, the nigga was official. Word. Word. He, he, he had got me a job dope. And I was, looking, I was making like 800 a week. And I was like 16, 17. That shit was valid. Yeah. And I was making extra. Now they got those apps. And I had the loud on deck too. The loud. Yeah. You were selling loud and walking dogs. That's a fact. Were you one of those dudes that I see with like twenty dogs? Were. You were? Were. That's like that was normal to like just have like a ridiculous number of dogs yeah, all at the same time. Thought, yeah, that nigga Sasha, that nigga had mad clients. <laughs> yeah. It's so funny because it must be so shitty for the dogs, but then at the same time, like fuck it, you're getting money, so why not? Yeah. <laughs> and, and he had walked some lady dog, I forgot her name. Some famous lady. Uh, Oh, so that's kind of like an honor when you're out walking dogs. It's like, damn, I walked Jim Carrey's dog. Oh, well, I walked Shaq's dog. Nah. That's hell, what dog nah. walkers talk about that when they get alone? That was just my bread. Like, for me, that was just my bread. For okay. Me. So, Instead of going there, because I was going to jail, bro. So I was like, you know what? Let me try to change a little bit. I feel like that's kind of a rough, rough job in terms of the likelihood of you going to jail in New York. Because if you're walking around all day, there's just more opportunities to get into some shit. That's a fact. Okay, so what, what what goes on in between? I'm trying to figure out like what happens that leads up to you becoming world famous as the guy who beats people up outside Supreme. I don't know I was always static. <laughs> <laughs> so you never really stopped like beefing with people and shit. Nah, nah, oh, uh, nah, nah. Niggas, niggas don't want no beef. Okay, so but, but I was a chilling. I was a chilling nigga growing up. It just when niggas want beef, it was just lit, hmm. and it was. A consistent lit. That's why, I, like, I was always getting in trouble. But were you always like a big ass dude? Yeah. After like sixteen, yeah. Did you ever like go out of your way to learn to fight, or, like lift weights and shit, or were you just yeah, always nah, kind of big? Nah, nah, I never would learn how to fight. Fighting was natural growing up in the hood. You fighting your mans, you getting spanked, you spanking niggas, y'all <laughs> jumping niggas. You get the one ons. After a while, you just one on with everybody, and it's just. Now your shit's litty, you feel me? That's nice to hear about, though, because you hear about everybody getting shot and shit these days, so... Yeah, nah, I try to keep that shit away from my side. It's too much money, out here. Yeah. Okay, but so, what are you doing? This is how I imagine in my head. You're just sitting around with all your friends, and you just say, how can I go viral today? And they say, let's nah, go to the Supreme... <laughs> let's go to the Supreme store and smack the shit out of some people. <laughs> okay, you tell me. How'd this happen? All right, so... And why do you hate Supreme? I know that you've, you've never talked about this publicly? No. Wow, so this is super rare. Yeah, for my son, Adam. Yeah. Hey. Official niggas only. <laughs> All right, my so mom was official. My dad was official. So it was official. That's a fact. 
I bet they sex is lit. <laughs> nah. Damn, I think about that all the time. Yeah. Nah, just play, just when my play. parents were in their heyday, I bet they were making some pretty aesthetic love. Nah, I just play, just play. Okay, so nah, Supreme. But, um, I ain't even know about Supreme, bro, until like 2016. Until like when I came home in 2016. Or, and then, nah, 26, 2015, I came home. And then I was just like, I ain't care about that shit. That shit was nothing for me to care about, you feel me? Nobody in my hood rocking Supreme. Like, nigga, that's like some white nigga shit. Like, little white kids that be in Soho and shit. That, that, that be skateboarding. Them niggas, for me. Niggas in the hood, we wasn't Jack. We wasn't wearing Supreme. Niggas wasn't wearing that. I don't know. But I got, I got caught on to that shit because at the time, um, my girl I was fucking with. She, her friend was, um, some was fucking with some other nigga named Justin, and that nigga was rocking Wild Supreme, you feel me? And I ain't like that nigga because I had a fight in Brooklyn, and that nigga knew the nigga that hit me with the bottle, and he didn't want to tell me. Mm. Or So I had a fight in Brooklyn and shit with some bum-ass nigga. He pussy, he don't want no smoke. <laughs> His arms is noodles. That nigga <laughs> hands is noodles, that's a fact. So, yeah, that nigga, or whatever, whatever. So, boom. Yeah, the nigga, the nigga, the nigga. You I can ain't smoke right now nigga. if you want to, by the way. It's all good. Yeah, light up. Oh, light up? Yo, roll up, lighter. Momo. Wait, it's just, an just interesting saying. story right here. Yeah, yeah, I'm it's ready. waited for. I'm very ready to hear this. That's a fact. You want to light up? Come on. Yeah, while Momo's lighting up, I'm going to talk about one more thing. That. For me, I gotta just talk about some other things quick, cause this this is lit. Um, I want to talk about. For me, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Jason, can you turn off the monitor too? I just realized how flickery that shit is. Not that one. This one. Yo, uh, can I play some songs before I talk about the Supreme? Nah, uh, because it's a podcast, so we can't play stri- mu- But once we're done, the actual all interview right, part, right. then we can play songs. I'll play a bunch of whatever you want. All right, copy. Okay, so let's just... We're all too high. All right, back to Supreme. Back to Supreme. There was a guy that you had beef with yeah, that would Justin. rock mad Supreme. Nah, I, didn't, I didn't have beef with Justin. I had beef with some other nigga, but I ain't Jack Justin, so... He was like, I'll have to show that nigga, like, yo, fuck Supreme, B. Or, so... Basically, what happened was I had came home, you feel me? And every, I had that nigga on Snapchat. I had, like, four people on my Snapchat. And every time I look on my fucking snap, this nigga snapping Supreme, Supreme, Supreme something, something Supreme. That shit used to have me tight. I'm like, if I only had four niggas on my snap, so, you know, you only got four niggas on your snap, you going through that four stories real quick. Every time I look at my snap, it's Supreme, and I ain't jacked this nigga. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to show this nigga fuck Supreme. I'm playing play around with this nigga with Chris. I was I was sourced one day and I just was like, where? Fuck Supreme. You just started saying it on the story? Nah, I just was like, let me test some niggas. Let me see who's staticky. So you I was s- sourced. You messaged him directly nah, is how I it even started. Give a fuck about him. Oh, okay. He know I ain't like him. But you just started saying it where? It's the random niggas on the street. Oh, okay. You just started. I was sourced. I was I was sourced that day. You were drunk is what yeah. you're saying, yeah. I was drunk. Yeah. Okay, so you were just running up on people who were wearing Supreme and just flexing on them? Just why? Because you were in the mood? You just didn't fuck with it? Yeah, because I was so just to fuck Supreme. Okay. And then it became an epidemic where it's like the niggas in the store wasn't jacking me, and then they were talking shit. So I was like, you know what? Fuck them niggas too. And then I hollered at them niggas. They didn't want no smoke. And then it was just corporate niggas. They would pull me to the side like I'm about to catch a video in front of Supreme with this nigga Will. And they'll pull it to the side like, yo, man, please, man, stop stop doing this, man. <laughs> like, please, stop doing this, right? Mm-hmm. What, like Supreme employees or some shit? Nah, like they managers and the security guards and shit. Or, They're trying to level. <clears throat> okay, but so how would you describe why you wanted to go outside Supreme and sort of terrorize people who are wearing Supreme in the line? The random people started when niggas was just like chatting, like, oh, who you kidding next? <laughs> and I was like, I don't give a fuck, man. I don't care who's next. So were you telling your friends, like, yo, film me while I do this? 
Was that like the original way it started, or was yeah. it just that you were doing it and people the started? First, the first two videos, I did that shit myself. Selfie. For me, I did it on Snapchat by myself. Uh -huh. I was just so I'm like, yo, let me try niggas out by myself. I mean, uh -huh. and I just tried as many people out, and then that shit went viral from my Snapchat. Niggas took it off my snap and they put it. Um, I forgot son's name. I chopped them videos up and threw it up on Facebook, and that shit went viral on Instagram and Facebook. Yeah. She got like a million plus views on on the book. Right. And that shit, yeah, that shit went. Everybody started really posting like. that shit. It's just like a funny concept, kind of to like attack people outside a store for what they're wearing. Like, there's something about that that's just really interesting. Like, people just now, wanted to know. Interesting is the fact that like niggas, like niggas is memeing it and and. Mm. Niggas is making their memes, and then niggas is like, yo, you got to get the head Supreme niggas. And then the Rax nigga came up. Mm. For me. So is he like a target? Like, I got to get him because he's kind of like famous for the for the the Supreme shit. Nah, some, some niggas is just making memes of mad niggas that be reselling Supreme. So I was like, fuck it, I'm just going to catch every one of these niggas. For me, that's what we're catching next. Right. Because was, this was around the time that those complex documentaries were coming yeah, out that were, yeah. like, basically turning a bunch of random people into... Yeah. Okay. Right. So, let me ask you, though. Like, do you... Like, when you look at Supreme's clothing, do how, do like you, how do you feel? Do you think it looks pretty good? Because that's my thing. Is I, 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 I've been annoyed by the Supreme. Do you like Supreme? Yes. I, I don't even wear it at all. I don't think I've ever bought it. I might have, like, one thing. But, you know, it's just... I've thought, and you know, I know how you feel in terms of being annoyed because sometimes it feels like there's a lot of people out there that like just have no personality, and then their personality they basically like try to replace having a personality with like rocking a bunch of Supreme and V Lone, and it's just like no, I, I just want to scream like no, yeah, you're just a fucking idiot. Like you have no personality. You based your entire existence over buying a bunch of stupid fucking clothes. And I say this as someone who sells clothes, and I want people to continue to buy our clothes from NoJumper.com. But yeah, go buy your clothes from NoJumper. Thank you. But at the end of the day, it's like I wouldn't really feel comfortable criticizing Supreme because at the end of the day, their clothing is a lot better than anything I ever made. And I feel like no matter what your favorite clothing line is. That's kind of the thing. It's like put your favorite clothing line head to head with Supreme. Your favorite clothing line is probably not gonna really. I don't know though. How do you how do you feel about that? Do you disagree? <laughs> Supreme just got club, bro. <laughs> yeah, that's part they, of it. They they clothes are shitty and and everybody swear that they shit is mad expensive. They shit is not expensive. No, it's not expensive. That's kind of what the cool part is. That it's not that some expensive. Some niggas that, that be reselling them shits yeah, yeah. make it expensive. But you can't get it unless you're willing to either wait in a crazy line yeah. or pay a bunch of money to buy it from a reseller. That's kind of part yeah. of what makes or it cool. Or you could just book one of them niggas that be in front of them. I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, well, that's your, that's your personal ethos. No, nah, yeah, sometimes. So what happened? Were there any other like stories that we need to cover in terms of all the crazy shit? Because like I remember when you first started jagging people outside of the fucking Supreme line, it was like a national crisis on Twitter. The way that everybody was just talking about it all of a sudden because it's just such a viral idea. Because the ape was dolo. I'm dolo out there in the streets. You feel me? You didn't have anybody watching your back then, all that? Nah, I only had Will, man, and I tell that nigga, do not get involved. Cause this film. Yeah, that's a fact. But okay, let's let's. This word wasn't really around at that time, but this is what people would say now. Is like, oh, he's just clout chasing, he's trying to get popping off of doing some shit on the gram. But I didn't even have no Instagram, bro. Like when I first started doing this shit, I didn't have no Instagram. Like, I didn't cool, have Instagram. Mm. Like my my first uh, my first video, I think when I posted that shit on my Instagram, my first Instagram was like, in one day I had like thirty k, or yeah. But were you motivated by the idea of making a name for yourself? Were you sick and tired of just being this guy that was just around town and you were like, fuck, nah, I want to get some cloud on Instagram? Nah, hell no, I didn't care about Instagram. I didn't have Instagram. But just in general, you know, cloud in general, you know? It seems like that would be kind nah, of... Nah, what made it lit is when I, when, when I was walking down the Lancy Street in LES and I seen Schoolboy Q. But that's when I was like, oh, this shit lit. <laughs> My nigga Schoolboy Q from all the way on the west side. I'm with the lady, you heard nigga? Yeah. I'm with the lady. Walking down the lady with Will. We just cops at McDonald's. Mm -hmm. And I hear, fuck Supreme. 
Yeah. I'm like, oh, I threw my McDonald's. Like, it's lit. You feel me? Word. I'm, I'm like, it's lit, baby. But you know what's crazy is that I'm 0% surprised that Schoolboy Q knew about that shit. It was hyped on it because that's how I was. It's like, I, I can almost guarantee that Drake and Kanye were aware of it. I mean, they, uh, Kanye seems yeah. like he's kind of out of it sometimes. But, you know, it seems like almost everybody just knew about it overnight. It was a weird moment for the internet. Okay, but let me ask you this. Now... There's like a whole class, like a whole like type of personality on Instagram, like, you know, the Boonks and the Fat Boys, who have basically like, made a name for themselves by doing fuck shit in public. Mm -hmm. um, and you were very, very early on that wave. Yeah. How's this? Is it, you feel like Boonks your son? He got deleted, but. Yeah, that's my, that's my deodorant, you feel me? <laughs> He's under the armpit? Yeah, that's a fact. That's my deodorant. So you don't fuck with Boonk? I don't fuck with him because he violated my city, you feel me? He came in my city and he violated my shit. You feel me? Because he broke that table. For yeah, <laughs> niggas is hustlers, man. Niggas is hustlers yeah. in my city. You feel me? When you come to my city, you violate my shit. It's lit for you. For me, straight like that. For the record, we're talking about like a table with a bunch of I Love New yeah. York shirts on I, it. I don't like, got nothing to do with me. Yeah, that's a fact. But I mean, the same kind of logic could be like, oh, like why Bape needs to get it because he violated all these fucking innocent New Yorkers who are just walking around yeah. trying to rock some preem. Niggas had the chance to catch me, mad Tom. Right. I be dolo, dead ass, dead ass. <laughs> so if you saw Boonk, it would be on site. Hell yeah, it's lit. Fuck out it. <laughs> <laughs> I would spank that little Spanish nigga with dreads. Boonk always says he keeps it on him though. In his city, cut the bus city. <laughs> Facts. But it's, it's got to go down wherever you see him, right? Yeah. Isn't that how this works, I've heard? Yeah. So if I'm in his city, it's going to go down. If he's in my city, it's going to go down. Boom. No Boom. pistol play. We need a fair fight. Just a fair fight, okay? He don't want that. <laughs> no, that, I don't know if Boom could handle that. That shit's a new. I mean, he does have fake dreads. Would you would you take pleasure in like sort of removing the fake dreads, like a la taking someone's scalp, or, or like stealing their hat? Nah, not stealing and breaking it. That's a big thing in New York. Is just smacking somebody's hat off their head. That's the ultimate way to get it popping. That's a start. That's the way a lot a lot a lot of people probably got killed because somebody smacked their hat off. Not me. Not you. <laughs> Boonk is still alive. Um. All right, but so when you look, all right, what about Fat Boy? You fuck with Fat Boy? Yeah, I had met, I met that nigga, but it, let me tell you what it is. I'm most hated, bro. Uh huh. So niggas might act like they like me. Oh yeah, I fuck with they, but niggas don't like me. You don't think he all the way fucks with you? Who? Fat, Fat Boy? Boy. We met that nigga. Me and Will, we met that nigga. We we spoke to him on the phone, all that text message, all that. Okay. But you don't, do you consider, like, a lot of the people that you are cool with, you don't really consider them, like, your close friends or anything? Like, you don't really want to claim anybody in particular in this sort of Instagram nah, cool. Instagram provocateur world? He cool. But Supreme Patty can get it. Yeah. He seems like an obvious person for you to have beef with. That's what they say. Just because, you know, that's kind of his whole thing. Or, <laughs> or Who else you got beef with? I don't got no beef with nobody, bro. Okay. It just is lit. Who? Wh what do you mean by that? <laughs> it's lit what I see. Dick spit. But is there anybody else on the press list? Because when you got out of jail, you had that list. You were like memeing, you were yeah. putting this list on social media. The Tarzan nigga. Nah, I'm a link with Tarzan. I fuck with him. Tarzan. Yeah. Who's that? Pull him up. My son be fucking with the apes. I gotta look after. From Florida, he be fucking with the animals. Yeah. He look like him. He's like his twin. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's my little brother. I mean, there's a lot of weird personalities yeah. online these days. I fucking hate half of them when I see them online, bro. So much goofy shit on Instagram. People trying to get popping by just doing the weirdest shit. Or, oh, yeah. do you feel like you're kind of over that stage in your life of like just doing crazy shit on online for? Nah, you know what it is. I just never acted my shit. That's why I like. I don't do scripts like like scripts like oh let's link mm -hmm. up fat boy and let's do a script about me throwing water on you. You want to do that? 
No, <laughs> that's what I did with Fat Boy. I fucking went and bought a giant Coke and had him dump it on me in the middle of the interview so we could fake a beef. I don't give a fuck. It was worth it. No, nah, it's funny. It <laughs> should be funny. Yeah, but I'm also not like you. You're kind of a different kind of guy because your your sort of message out the world to the world in a way is like, don't fuck with me. <laughs> fuck Supreme. <laughs> <laughs> so what what do you see as like? All right. Well, actually, how'd you get locked up for doing that shit outside the Supreme store? Um, cause I had a warrant. I had a warrant for my arrest. For what? For um having a fight. Okay. But what happened was they did some funny shit. Like, they they, they um they had the security guard niggas press charges on me, not the niggas I was fighting. And they they made it seem like um that I had a fight with them niggas. One of them said like he scraped his knee, and the other one said his elbow. So they made it seem like I had a fight with them mm. instead of the two niggas I was fighting with. Right. So then you got locked up for how long? Nah, it was like, it was like for like a couple of days. Oh, and okay. I bailed out. It was a bum ass case. But, uh, but since you got popular for doing this, you've been to jail for how long in total, or how many bids you doing for how long? From from like since you got popping. Oh, uh, a couple of years ago. I never got locked up like because of Supreme, like oh, oh okay. like from violating somebody on the streets. Like, I always got locked up for some shit in her. That most recent bid was just for a fight? Yeah. How long were you in? Like six, seven months. So how was that? How, how do you maintain your uh, sanity of mind while you're in there? Working out. You get real into that in jail? Yeah. I work out, read, chill. You work out a lot when you're on the streets too, or you no, let it go? Really. Not really. Oh, really? Okay. So you sort of let it, you just fall off a little bit? Yeah. There's it's, it's more shit to do. Yeah, that's a fact. Yeah. Um, what do you read when you're in jail? What what? What do you what do you read like recently and when um, you're locked up? I'll be reading the Quran. I'll be reading fucking just magazines. I read um I don't like reading like fake shit. Like hood novels, niggas be not into that? Nah. Yeah, I couldn't really imagine either. Yeah. That's what's up. Anything crazy happened? During your most recent bid or anything, or you have any wild ass jail stories? I have fights. fights. <laughs> so that doesn't. My stop? last bid was like was like was like um, it was it wasn't crazy. It was just like like stressful because I came to jail as the vape nigga. You mm. feel me? So all the COs knew me like they was dick riding, and then just all the inmates knew me too. So they be dick riding and niggas I don't fuck with. Or some niggas that I fuck with for me. And then... Is it mostly dick riding? Or is it a lot of people who just want to beef with you because you're sort of famous for beefing with people? Nah, niggas in jail. Yeah, some, yeah, some of them, yeah. That's a fact. That's a fact. But it was like both. Yeah, yeah. It was both. But the COs were pretty cool? The COs yeah, were the most the part COs they were into? Yeah, some of the COs was cool. Because COs, they regular niggas. They regular niggas from the hood for me. They from New York for me. Mm-hmm. So they just be trying to do their work and go home. But then you, it'd be some extra niggas, extra COs. What? So, doing yeah. so you weren't about to get in PC? I don't know. No? <laughs> You're not that famous yet? I feel even like you if, are that famous. Even if I was that famous, bro, I would, like, I would not go to PC, bro. I've been, I did prison time. Right. Like, so since you've seen the real shit, it would be hard for you to go do the pussy-ass version of it, yeah, right? Yeah, hell yeah. Do you think I that, know how to jail if I go to jail. You know, you know how to deal with it? Yeah. So you never had any like crazy traumatic experiences in there? Yeah, or I never got cut in there. That's good. Or that would be traumatic. Whenever I see somebody with a big ass long razor blade scar on their face, that's what I'm thinking about. Yeah, I see. I seen niggas get cut. You that, seen it? Yeah, a lot. Really of nasty one. Stab, yeah. cut. Damn. All that. What do you do? Just turn, walk <laughs> away. With the cam, bro. You look at the ground. Oh, I didn't see yeah, nothing. Yeah, it, it ain't got nothing to do with me. <laughs> So what do you want to do like with your career? You got all this fame. I feel like you could do a lot with your with your notoriety now. What what do you want to do with your with your shit? I uh, so like basically right now I'm just having fun. I'm living my life, bro. <laughs> like I'm finna I'm finna um start shooting some more f- um real shit cuz I don't be having no script shit. Mm. And um I'm about to put out some um, merch, some more um, free wine babe shirts for me. I'm not, I got some more shit going on with that. Um, 
I got my little brother right here. He my artist, you feel me? Um Yeah, I'm just I just be like networking with who I fuck with, you feel me? Like niggas from my hood. For me, like I use I I would use like who I fuck with to try to build niggas. For me. And then I don't know. I'm about to go to Japan and fuck up Japan. Hopefully I don't get locked up out there. I feel like you could do some wild ass shit in Japan and they ain't gonna really like like you'd have to really be over the top to piss them off. They're so polite, bro. They don't even wanna like they, they feel don't so want to nah they Damn, I can't go to <laughs> Japan then. Ain't nobody gonna try to fight you, bro. They're just gonna be like what the No. They're such yeah. like a timid people. They just they don't really like deal with confrontation that much. That would be whack though. Yeah, you're definitely gonna so look violent. like a bully. I gotta go to like London. Right? <sighs> they got Supreme in London. Yeah. There's a yeah. lot of knife crime in London. Yeah, right. And those people are just tweakers, bro. I've been to bars yeah, in London and just seen so many go. crazy fights. I'm coming to London to fuck up Supreme. You heard? I'm into that. I would love to see that play out. If you're out there in London, let us know if you want to fade with Wine Bape when it comes yeah. out. Yeah, you want to fade? <laughs> I love you. So tell me about like who else you've been like sort of fucking helping out and stuff. I want to talk about Leaky Band. We gotta get him on here yeah, because Leaky. I'm a big fan. <laughs> Uh, and good friends with his uh, his friend Orlando. Can we swap yeah. him in for somebody? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pull up. I can definitely hear Brandon Hampton in the back. He's can gonna I get, get a light though. He's gonna get ushered in here soon. Biggie Ben from No East Side. Uh, Cam everybody. girl in this bitch. Right. Here to see her, her boyfriend, uh, Wyan Babe. Hey. I'm here for it. You know her? Yeah, Cam. I fuck her. I want a pink shirt. Your ex girlfriend or not? Nah? Nah, 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 nah. I need to know about that if that's the case. I want a pink shirt, he said. <laughs> <laughs> I would support you in her dating. As her boss, you know, it's like I feel like I should probably like have kind of first right of refusal on that sort of thing. I ain't got nothing to say. <laughs> All right, Leaky, what's up? Good. Hey, yo, it's nice to meet you, bro. Appreciate it, bro. Nice to be here. Yeah, so, okay, how old are you? 16. 16. And all right, who discovered you first? Was it PNB Rock or was it A Boogie or was it this dude or who? It was PNB Rock. How'd he find you? He found me through uh, my producer, Ruby Rosa. Oh, okay. Yeah, um, basically, my producer was just playing mad records for him and he was fucking with it. He was rocking with it. So they, they, we cooked out some shit and then we got a deal on the works. That's crazy. Mm. PNB out here doing his fucking AR yeah, thing. Yeah. He's scooping artists here and there. He's got, he seems like a pretty crazy eye for talent. So how'd you meet Orlando? Oh, I met him through PMB. You know? Right. Yeah, yeah. Well, nah. Oh, introduced me to PMB. I'm smart. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, that's what I thought. My producer played my music for uh, PMB and O. Okay. Both of them, cause he had he got to deal with uh, PMB. That's fire. So what's your relationship with PMB like? You're a lot younger than him and shit, but like yeah. he's kind of. That's the big bro. Yeah. He's showing love. You learn a lot from him. Hell yeah. Learn like how to like how to move and shit like, in this industry. That's crazy, yeah. He be showing love. People don't know. Go watch one. Go watch PNB Rock's No Jumper interview if you don't think he's from the streets, because he got some good stories. PNB Rock right, gotta stop rocking Supreme, man. What the <laughs> fuck with you, bro? But you gotta stop rocking Supreme, man. You know, man. You know, I know you, PNB, man. You gotta stop rocking Supreme, bro. Niggas fuck with you. So you really notice when somebody's like a, a habitual Supreme rocker, right? Yeah, man. <laughs> Niggas be double jacking too, the Supreme and bait, man. I just want to say, I'm an XL. I never disrespected Supreme, and I would kind of feel like if I got the free Supreme pack, that I, it might, I might feel like I made it in life. You don't fuck with Supreme? Even my bro be dripping. I be dripping in Supreme. He said, "Even my bro be dripping, baby." But you know, he for the land. From the land. So he gets a pass. That's a fact. Is the LES the land, or is New York as a whole the land to you? LES is my land. Funny, New York is the city. Yeah. yeah. Man, I'll tell you one time, I was in New York about a year ago. I was just walking around with somebody. I'm thinking, like, hey, ain't nobody going to recognize me. A bunch of hood-ass fools in the LES were, like, hyped as shit to see me. And I was, like, so happy. I'm like, man, that made me so fucking hyped that all you drunk-ass motherfuckers like me. Vandalow. My Uber driver thought you were about to beat the shit out of me at that gas station in well, Atlanta. Uh, that's funny. Yeah. He drops me off. I'm all high as fuck. I'm walking to get some in the gas station. I just hear, Adam. I'm like, oh, nah. Mm. I look up, it's him. I'm like, oh, thank God. Nigga with the deep voice. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, what, what, how would you describe uh, your music, Lee? Fire. Oh, yeah. yeah. 
But uh, I, I describe it as like just me expressing how I feel and shit. Like me trying to just preach to the Lord that we gonna make it out of that shit, bro. We don't have nobody really from the Lord. Yeah. So we gotta just get more people from the Lord, bro, to make it and shit. You're into religion and, and be shit? successful. Not really. Did you grow up with that influence? Nah. You just found it? You just, I, okay. You just, I, you're saying preach to the Lord or you gotta speak to the Lord? Nah, I preach to the, like, to the, to the Lord. Where oh. I'm from. The lower. lower. Yeah. I thought you were saying Lord the whole time. My bad. I'm so out of touch. Um, uh, yo, can I be real with you? You got a lot of facial hair for a young dude. I'm grown. <laughs> I'm saying that might be a good sign. You, you're going to have a big-ass beard one day, like a fucking long-ass AR ab shit? No? Not that long. No. I'm going to probably cut it. Get a freeway beard out in the streets. I can hear them going crazy out here. What should we cover before we... Uh, before we wrap this interview up, what do you guys want to talk about? Anything, whatever. We here. Kush. Um, I just want to say I want to pay my condolences to um, X for me. That's my R. brother for me. That's real. Rest in peace, X for me. I was on tour with him, him, Ski, all the niggas. You were on that tour. I forgot about yeah. that. For me, that shit was lit. I heard that shit X was out of control. Out. Ski a bug out. Trunks a bug out. All them niggas. They all bugging that out. That shit was lit. <laughs> hey, yo, but, like, do you, were you good on that tour? Like, did you manage to avoid all the insanity that I heard about? Yeah, I did. You didn't get in a lot of fights on tour and shit? Nah, I did. I was only weird. on tour with them for, like, three cities, three, four oh, cities. Man. And then I, I, was, I, was, I wasn't there when X had got popped on on stage. Oh. But when they went to the, the next city, I, I forgot what city that was. San Diego. Probably, San, San, yeah. San, he got punched in San Diego. All uh, right, so then it was the next one. San Fran or some shit, whatever. Yeah. I was in that shit. That shit was lit. And then the next two was lit. Nigga That's wanted cool. me to throw him in the stage. I mean, the crowd. Oh, you were one of those guys who was going to yeah. do that. All right. Yeah. Hey, yeah. let me ask you all all this. Mm. What do you all be listening to lately? Also, RIPX. Lately? I've been listening to Scorpion. Okay. Heavy. And Dalit. The what? Dalit. Cut it. Oh. That yeah. That's it. I, I listen to a selective amount of people. I should probably spend more time with the Cardi album. I kind of like. I've been listening to. I ain't put enough time in with it. I've been listening to um, Lil Baby. Mm. Um, I think it'll be driven. Or. Dripping. Um. Gonna, he go hard. Gonna. Yeah, gonna go hard. That's a fact. And my son, David Lee. Uh-huh. Mm. He go hard. The flea. That's a fact. Fire. All right. Anything else we should uh, address before we uh, wrap this thing up? New Leaky Bands music coming on the way. New Leaky Bands coming on you the way. Flood the streets. Real music. <laughs> it's crazy because, like, I know that Leaky probably going to get some pussy from being on No Jumper. <laughs> you probably is. There's gonna be a girl on the street that's gonna recognize you like tomorrow. Man, I saw you on that live stream. You wanna go get a hotel I'm room? That. You better stick to that. I'm a room, but I'm gonna hit you. If that doesn't happen, well, no, you're 16, so I can't volunteer any of the girls I know. But if, you know, 21. I'll give you like 50 bucks. I'm 21. He said. <laughs> 21. His birthday was yesterday. <laughs> I quickly aged five years. Um. All right, yo, I appreciate you guys coming in. I, I can't believe I got the first uh, the first ever conversation with actually, like, the first real Wyan Babe interview. That's, that's super rare, legendary shit. You already know. Fuck Supreme. <laughs> that's real. Actually, that's not real. I take it back. Yeah. Shout out Supreme. I'm dick riding. Nah, Shout out Supreme, nah. but fuck them. Nah, 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 nah. All right. Appreciate y'all. This has been No Jumper, coolest podcast in the world. Check us out on YouTube, SoundCloud, iTunes. Peace. Shout out to yes, man. I'm rolling like an LP, nigga. I know who's your boy. I'm rolling like an LP.